Hello, I'm Old Norse Specialist Dr. Jackson Crawford. The Old Norse language is written initially with an alphabet called the runes. This is the younger Futhark during the Viking Age, not the elder Futhark, which is much earlier, but perhaps more famous. Following the Viking Age and the conversion of Christianity, the alphabet used is in fact the Roman alphabet, the same alphabet used to write English and most European languages today. However, because the Latin alphabet in the Middle Ages was not designed to accommodate more than the sounds that are present in Latin, the Old Norse alphabet incorporates more letters for some of the sounds uh, that are not uh, common in other European languages. These include the letters Thorn and Ed. Thorn uh, and Ed I'm showing on the screen, Thorn on top, and Ed below, and the capital form to the left of the um, minuscule or uh, regular form. Both Thorn and Ed are used for the TH sound in English. But Thorn is the voiceless TH sound in, say, Thin or Theater or Thor. In fact, the name of the god Thor starts with the letter Thorn in Old Norse. Whereas Ed is the voice sound in, say, Weather or Leather or Then or Thee or This or That. So, for instance, take your uh, fingers, put them on your vocal cords, and say S like a snake, hiss. Then say zzz like you're sleeping or you're bored at this presentation. Then go back and forth between them. Zzz, zzz. That's the same difference between th and th. Th, th. So thorn is the sound without the vo vibration in your vocal cords, and ev is the sound with the vibration in your vocal cords. They are two slightly different sounds, although we write them the same way in English. They're not written the same way in classical Old Norse. There are also uh, letters for distinct vowel sounds, including ash. This is an A and an E written together. Uh, it's called a ligature when two letters are written together. This is the sound of a ah in like cat, or rad, bad, bat. Then there is the uh, O with the stroke. This is the sound of U. If you pronounce something like bird with, say, an Arnold Schwarzenegger accent, bird, then you get something like the sound. It is similar to the O with two dots used in German. Then there is O caudata, that is O with a tail. And that is the rounded ah sound, like say ah, like you're at the dentist's office, but round your lips, sort of like the O in coffee, as pronounced by someone from northern New Jersey. I have more complete guides to pronunciation of Old Norse on this channel as well, which I'll link in a card and then at the end screen. This is just an intro for those uh, who need it, uh, based on the presentation in another video perhaps, or as a refresher about what these particular letters stand for. For now, from beautiful Colorado, let me wish you all the best.